Hello YouTube, welcome back, Chris here. Today we're going to go over another specialized e-bike. Um, I've already done shopping guides for the new Specialized Turbo Vado and Turbo Como. If you want to see those two videos, I'll have them linked in the description as well as at the end of the video. Today we're going to talk about a completely new platform, a new name for a bike from Specialized. We're going to go over the new Specialized Taro. So we're here on Specialized homepage. And we're going to go Turbo E-Bikes, Turbo Taro. This is a super exciting bike. This is something completely new for Specialized in that they've never made a more price conscious mountain bike. They've always done the Levo and the Kinevo, which are super awesome bikes, but not very budget friendly as in their full suspension and carbon. And uh, they, they, they get up there. So this is sweet because this brings a whole new level to the E-Mountain Bikes from uh, Specialized. So here we start with a nice big picture of the bike, really good looking bike, um, very similar looking to what we're seeing with our Turbo Vado and Turbo Como with the same uh, mid-drive motor down here, integrated battery that falls out the bottom of the frame. Obviously you're going to have a little longer travel fork being a mountain bike, more tire clearance with these big, uh, big tires on it, and as is typical with Specialized, you're going to have lots of this... Um, Fantasy imagery of people riding the bikes to kind of show it off a little bit. And if we want to see the product, we go up here and click on Shop Now. I've said this in the other videos. I don't know if you've seen my other videos on turbo e-bikes or specialized bikes, but the reason I do these is it makes it easier to navigate these bikes and you can hear someone kind of walk through it who has experience with these bikes and has sold these bikes in a retail setting. So these are the options they're offering for Turbo Taro. Pretty simple. They have a 5.0. They have a 3.0, and they have a 3.0 step-through. We'll cover the step-through here in a minute, but the first thing you might be saying to yourself is, where's the 4.0? They make a 5.0 and a 3.0. Um, as I mentioned, this is a brand new platform, brand new model for Specialized. Uh, also with bike shortages and uh, production and shipping shortages and all that stuff going on, I could see why they're kind of tailoring down the SKUs per bike. So they're probably trying to make less products um, to kind of fill the demand, you know, better and not having too many options. You might say, well, then why isn't there a 5.0 or a 4.0, which is a great question. If you look at the price points on these bikes, your Taro 5.0 is $5,000 and your 3.0 is $3,250. Now, if you saw either the Como or the Vado uh, videos, they had a 3.0, 4.0, 5.0, and the price points go $3,250, $4,000, $5,000. So the reason they're keeping this numbering scheme and they're, and they're, they're skipping over the 4.0 is the price point. This bike lines up with the Vado 3.0 and the Como 3.0, where this bike lines up with the Vado 5.0 and the Como 5.0. So they just don't have that middle price point bike, but it makes sense to keep them in line where all of them are at the same price for the similar spec with that uh, certain level. So, and then of course we have a step through here. Something we uh, don't see too often in a mountain bike anymore. And when I first saw this, I go, what? They're making a step through mountain bike? That's kind of weird. But the more I thought about it, it kind of makes sense. You, know, you got to think about this as an e-bike. Now, e-bikes do attract a lot of different types of people. It can attract a young crowd, an older crowd, all kinds of different things. But one of the biggest segments of the demographic for e-bikes that I see is people who used to be really into the sport or are really into the sport, but maybe they're aged a little bit and their abilities may have faded a little bit. So I could see where you would have a customer who is an avid mountain biker, trail rider, but with age, needs a little bit of help getting on and off of a bike. So this is not necessarily a bad thing. I see where this would fit into the lineup. I don't think it's going to be near as popular as your step over frame, a more traditional mountain frame, but I, I do understand why they did this, and I think it will sell. So without further ado, let's start with our Taro 3.0. As we open up the Taro 3.0, got some nice pictures of it here, all different angles, that nice new looking uh, TCD display up here. And uh, so available in two colors. This is called White Mountains with Gunmetal. Uh, white Mountains is not a white, it's more of an off-white or cream color, but that's what they call that. And then they offer an oak green metallic, which I think is a really good looking bike right there. So those are your two colors, available in small, medium, large, and XL. And as is typical with Specialized website, to find the specs, you got to search through eight pages to find 
that little button up there in the corner, and they start out with the geometry. Now, as I've said in all my videos, this geometry chart is mostly useless to most people. Small, medium, large Excel is really all you need to know. It's mostly based on your height, which size you're going to need. A lot of the stuff can be useful in a shop setting or to some people, but most people this is just getting way overkill in how this bike sizes out. Uh, I would be more just focused on your small, medium, large, extra large, and corresponding that to how tall you are and what reach you're looking for as well. Here we get into the technical specifications. This is an aluminum frame. They use a specialized E5 aluminum, which is very common for their higher end bikes. This uh, bike has a SR Sun Tour 110 millimeter fork with a lockout. Uh, I assume that this is a coil spring fork. I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, may be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure this is just a coil spring fork. So it doesn't have an air spring is basically what I'm saying. So it's not necessarily adjustable, uh, but does have a lockout, which is nice. Basic aluminum handlebar, basic aluminum seat post and stem. Nothing too exciting there. Our brakes, this is gonna be a very similar spec to what you're seeing on your Como and your Vado. Shimano BR-MT200 hydraulic disc brakes. So this is going to be a entry level, but nice Shimano hydraulic disc brake. Uh, shifting system is going to be Shimano Olivio 9 speeds. So that's going to be your shift lever, rear derailleur, and cassette. This bike, just like all other e-bikes from Specialized, is a one by setup. Uh, very typical with that assist. It's very rare to see more than a single ring in the front, just because with the assist it's not usually necessary. Rear cassette is 1136. It's actually a little bit tighter gearing than I would have expected, but it is a 36 tooth ring in the front, which is fairly small. So that, that is probably okay, especially with assist. That, that probably is plenty gear range, but you could always make that wider if you wanted to make a bigger, uh, wider gear range on the bike. Specialized stout rims, pretty typical for their more entry level mountain bikes. Maybe not entry level, mid level, let's say. Shimano hubs ground control tubeless, and this is a 29 inch wheel bike, which is gonna be something different than your Como and your Vado. Those bikes are gonna be 27 and a half. So this has a bigger wheel and a 2.35 tire on it, tubeless ready, which is pretty cool. So nice big tires on there. And uh, here we get down into the motor. Now, just like I said, with the 5.0, 4.0, 3.0 levels, the motors correspond as well. So anything at a 3.0 level is going to have the specialized 2.0E, 50 Newton meter torque, 250 watt motor. So this will be the same motor you're going to have in your Como or your Vado. It may have a different tune for off-road. I'm not sure on that at this point. I'm still kind of learning these products as I go. Uh, but it is going to be the same motor. Uh, so, nice motor, and then this is a, I did confirm these are all class 3 motors now, so it's going to be a 28 mile per hour top speed. And then we have that new Mastermind TCD, which is a pretty cool uh, new uh, head unit on there to show all the features. So that's it for our 3.0, let's take a look at our 5.0. Actually, before we look at our 5.0, let's go over our 3.0 step through real quick. Now, the specs on this bike are going to be the identical to the other bike. Um, all it's going to be is just a different frame. But there you can see some better pictures of that step through. Same colors, oak green metallic and white mountains. And now we'll take a look at our 5.0. So this is going to be the top of the line for the Taro. Only available in one color, the red onyx with smoke. $5,000 price point, as I mentioned before, small, medium, large, and XL. Sizing here, same aluminum frame. This does upgrade the fork to a RockShox Recon Silver 110 millimeter travel fork uh, with motion control. This uh, RockShox fork is gonna be an air spring fork, so it will be more adjustable for your weight, which is nice, and just a overall nicer quality fork on the bike. They did upgrade the seat post to a dropper seat post. 120, uh, oh, so depending on the size, you'll have either a 100 millimeter or 120 millimeter dropper on the post, which is nice. Brakes are gonna be a four piston caliper SRAM G2 RS brake, so much more braking power with this bike. These are the same brakes you're seeing on your Como 5 and your Vado 5. And that SRAM GX drivetrain, same as your Como and Vado there. 11 speed SRAM, this does go up to a 42 tooth, so a little bit wider gear range on this bike than on the 3.0 and that 36 tooth ring in the front. 
same ground control 29 by 3.5 tires. And then just like your other 5.0 e-bikes, the specialized 2.2 90 newton meter torque, 250 watt motor. So this is going to have that upgraded motor with a little bit nicer tune, faster accelerating, a uh, little bit more pickup from what I can tell, but still a class 3 28 mile per hour motor. Mastermind TCD, and that about sums it up for the Turbo Taro 5.0. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. Um, I do these to help people, especially since these bikes are really hard to find in places. It gives you a better idea what you're looking at. And if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. I will happily answer any question I can. If you like this video, please remember to like and subscribe. I'm going to do more videos just like this, and we will see you next time.